Hello everyone. Today I will discuss on a very basic question that is what is fund accounting? So to start with that we need to first understand what is a fund. So a fund is a pool of money kept aside for a specific purpose. This pool of money is generally managed by a professional called investment manager or we call it IM in the fund accounting world. Any person who want to invest in market but don't have a knowledge in which security to invest, fund can be a safer option for them to invest. Each share of a fund is priced at NAV. So, the fund value is generally derived from this NAV per share. So fund accountant job is to calculate this NAV from this particular formula. So NAV is nothing but total net asset or which is called TNA divided by the number of shares outstanding. Now how we arrived at TNA? Total net asset is nothing but the total asset minus your total liability into the fund divided by the number of shares outstanding. As a fund accountant, you need to have a fair idea of each of this component that is the asset of the fund, what will be the liability of the fund and what is going to be your shared outstanding in the fund. So when you will be valuing your fund, you need to evaluate each of these points. So how a fund accountant is going to evaluate these points? So these will be the few of the points or few of the paths they will go to evaluate the NAV. First, a fund accountant need to check for the unit deals, which is commonly known as subscription and redemption into the fund, which will actually come up to the this value of the number of share outstanding in your fund. Next, the fund accountant need to account for any income like dividend or interest into the fund. The fund accountant need to account for any trades. Generally, the trade information will be given by the IMs to the fund. Next, the fund accountant need to check for any corporate action into the fund. All these components which I talked right now, which is the income, trade, corporate action, all this comes under the asset component for the NAV. Next, one very important point is to reconcile the cash and stock with the custody. So now we need to understand one point. When a fund accountant is valuing a fund, they will be doing mostly based on the data which is received. However, when we have a custody, custody actually holds the real cash. So it is very important that on a daily basis, we do a reconciliation of the how much cash is there in the fund as per fund accountant and how much it is there as per custody. Same goes for stock as well. Next, other components we need to check is to see for the payable into the fund, do the expense accrual check, and process any expense payment which is there into the fund. These two component goes for the liability. Once these parts are done, that unit dealings is taken care of, asset is already taken care of, liability part is also checked, then the final part comes which is pricing. Pricing is nothing but your fund will be consisting of a portfolio. So for that portfolio, whatever security, whatever derivatives, swap, other fixed income, whatever security holding is there, what will be the current price for that securities? Comprising of all the prices, it will create the final market value. Once that is derived, the NAV calculation will be done. This pricing part also is actually create the asset component. So if you can see here from this, I am from this and this, I am arriving at the asset. 
from this I am arriving at the liability which will create my TNA. This unit deal will create my shares outstanding. And that will help me to calculate the NAV. So this is the basic and very, very uh, superficial level. I have given an idea how a fund accountant calculate the NAV. In my next video, I will actually create a fund. I will give you an example of a fund, how a NAV is calculated based on all this component. And then we can go further into details how we evaluate all these components. Thank you very much.